one of the major things that I we encourage prospective students to look at um, in the choice of coming to Ireland University is the small, the small nature of um, the university itself when it comes to the numerical strength of students. And then so far we have about 600 student population and then we have um, 40 faculty members. If you look at that ratio, that's a ratio of one to five, so to say. So um, it, it, the, it gives room for more interaction between faculty and students. And then the more you're able to interact with students, the more you're able to impact them the more you're able to influence their decision positively. Uh, I've experienced that a lot at Allen University, and I've enjoyed that seeing, you know, just very young lady, young man, evolving into more responsible man, more responsible lady over years, within the space of four years, because of the fact that we're able to interact more. Um, personally, I and I believe a good, quite a good number of faculty members um, have this open door policy. We have students come into our office at any point in time, especially during advisement, and then you're able to impact them so well. So that's one of the things that I would really, really want to encourage prospective students, that Allen should be your very first choice when it comes to having that kind of close contact and interaction with a faculty member. Allen actually um, taught me a lot. Um, I have more of a listening here now, and then um, I view every student that I come across every single day as an opportunity to impact them. If one is able to, if I, as a biologist, I'm able to talk with them, I, I, I don't discontinence whatever they're bringing to the table. I first of all tell them, check and think about where your passion is, because science is all about you being able to ask questions you've been able to have that drive towards answering those questions. If you find that you have all of those attributes, then you're going to be a good scientist. I hear quite a good number of students asking, so what can I do with biology? Where am I going to, where am I going to work? Am I going to just be a teacher? Or what can I do and all of that? Those are good questions, and it shows that somebody is getting matured when you begin to think about the future. And biology is a very broad science, and then you can do a lot with biology. You can become a researcher, you can go into medical field, you can become a pharmacist, you can go into environmental science, you can go into anything you could possibly even think about. You can even go into law school after biology. You can become a, you know, just become a patent lawyer and all of that. So biology cuts across so many disciplines. DNA fingerprinting technology is biological, and then so there's a lot of prospect. If any student comes into biology, you can become a police officer and then work in some of the um, intelligence department and all that through the DNA technology tools. And we, we have quite a very well-established laboratory that I did uh, when I, I set up when I came into Ireland. So we're able to do DNA technology, like isolating DNA, and then do, doing PCR, cloning, and then typing, all sort of all kinds of genes and all that. So, those are kind of exposure that we give to students at Allen University. And so by the time the student is out of this school, they are well-rounded. I have quite a good number of my students that graduated from biology, and they work in pharmaceutical companies. So there's just innumerable number of things that um, people can do with biology as a major. One of the things that will be a major reason for me to advise any prospective student to choose Allen over any other HBCU around us, without mentioning any name, and just not to introduce bias, is that I'm very, very certain of the fact that, just as I mentioned earlier, that the student to faculty ratio is kind of very small. So the, it brings in opportunity for more interaction. Not only that, we have faculty members that are really well versed in their fields. So one of the things that we do well at Allen is to make sure that we engage them in research so that they're not only learning the theoretical aspect of their profession, they're also getting exposed to the practical aspect of it. That's why, and then there's an aspect of our curriculum also that encourages them to go for internship. We try almost every summer to make sure that at least 20-25% um, of our students are doing summer research internship. So um, I have um, two students now, and one of my students that worked with me last year um, from the research he did, he came first at the national level in Philadelphia, 
last month. So, and I'm not the only one doing that kind of research or any kind of research. We have faculty members that are engaging students in research. So I will believe that if any student comes into this place, by the time you leave, you're not only going to gain theoretical knowledge, you will be practically oriented and you'll have developed more skills that can help you to really get uh, integrated quickly and profitably well into the job market. One of the fatherly pieces of advice that I usually give to my students anytime they come to me is that always consider that your time at Allen University is just a phase of your life. And then time is such that if you waste it, you can't get it back. So you first of all make sure that you, you make use of that opportunity that is right in front of you. Be the best that you can be. So if you are considering Allen University, the very first person you should look for should be me. Because you just, you just bloom with laughter and you, you have that sense of joy in you. And then I'm hoping I have a listening here um, to everybody, anytime, anywhere. And then um, I think I believe I have that wealth of knowledge to actually educate the minds, to teach um, the, 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 the hearts to love and the hands to walk. And then, and then I believe so much that I will be able to impact you as a student and then I will be able to show you the way that you never thought about before.